excited to go down memory lane. How nice, while I still have my memory. The Facts of Life was the quintessential 80s show. It was funny and inviting, highlighting teenage girls in a positive light trudging through those very difficult years. Did you know that Mrs. Garrett was originally from different strokes? Wait, what you talking about, Nick? What you talking about? Facts of Life is one of those rare occurrences where a spin-off show finds huge success in its own right. The facts take place at the Eastland School for Girls in Peekskill, New York. You see, this was the private school that Kimberly Drummond had attended on different strokes. I'm your host, Nostalgic Nick, and let's get straight to the facts. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have Facts of Life, the Facts of Life. You know your favorite 80s sitcom starred an all-female lead cast, but did you know it had an all-female writing crew? It's the longest-running show with an all-female-led cast. Most of the girls recently reunited in a Lifetime movie, but we'll get to that later. If you enjoy this toast to the facts of life, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for even more nostalgic goodies. Charlotte Ray. Edna Garrett was the Drummond's first no-nonsense housekeeper on Different Strokes. You beautiful doll, you great big beautiful doll. She was goofy and had a warm personality. And Charlotte Ray appeared in all 24 episodes of the first season of Different Strokes before NBC gave Ray the chance to be the star of her own show. Edna was always there for her girls. She was the kind of woman we all wish we could befriend in real life, but we had to be satisfied with 30 minutes every now and again. Ray left the show before the start of season 8, much to the producer's chagrin. They offered her millions more just to stay for a few more years. But she was ready to move on, feeling that she had done all she could with the Mrs. Garrett character. Charlotte Ray began professional acting in 1951, and her first notable role was a decade later in 61. Statuesque beauty <laughs> means nothing anymore. With 11 episodes of Car 54, Where Are You? She also played Molly the Male Lady on four 14 very memorable episodes of Sesame Street from 1971 to 72. In 1978, Norman Lear once again cast one of his favorite actresses, Charlotte Ray, in Different Strokes. And the rest is history. We also have a deep dive into that legendary sitcom, so check it out next. Ray's final acting credit was in 2015 in Ricky and the Flash. Charlotte joined Alcoholics Anonymous in the early 1970s, and the organization became a vital part of her personal life. Charlotte Ray passed away in 2018 at the age of 92. Lisa Welchel Blair Warner was the spoiled rich girl from Manhattan. I never brag for hours about how much I'm worth. <laughs> That would take me weeks! Lisa's first role was in 1977 as a member of the new Mickey Mouse Club. She landed the role on Facts of Life a year later. She's appeared as Blair Warner in spin-off movies and guest appearances throughout the years. During the final season of Facts, producers made a controversial decision to have one of the girls lose their virginity. Initially, Blair was to be the character, but Welchel protested as it went against her deep-seated Christian beliefs. We get into this and more secrets from the show. In our Facts of Life Exposed episode. In 1984, Lisa was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Inspirational Performance for her contemporary Christian album All Because of You. She also published a best-selling, though controversial, book in 2000 about parenting and discipline called Creative Correction. In 2012, Lisa participated in Survivor Philippines. Daddy's money couldn't save her there, but she didn't really need it. Coming in second place and being voted fan favorite, which awarded her a hundred grand. Today, Welchel is in her late 50s and hosts the TV series Collector's Call on MeTV. Kim Fields. Next is the youngest cast member and student, Dorothy Tootie Ramsey. Do you know Bippy and Dippy and Snitsy? <laughs> In season five, they introduced Tootie's mom, which was played by her real mom, Chip Fields. How cool is that? Tootie was always on roller skates in the first season to try to make her look taller and older than she actually was. As the 12-year-old Tootie, Kim was actually just nine at the time. Kim's breakout role was the year prior to Fax. In the Demond Wilson-led show, Baby I'm Back, she played the baby in the fam. Fields also appeared in the famous Mrs. Butterworth commercial in 1979. 
After taking a break from acting to get her degree in communications, she came back strong as a series regular in the popular 90s show Living Single. And she even got to act with Mama again. Kim's mom Chip played Laverne Hunter in 12 episodes and consulted for the show for even more. Kim Fields was arrested in 1999 while protesting against the police shooting of a black woman in Riverside, California. Today, Kim is in her early 50s and she's currently shooting a Netflix series called The Upshaws. And we look forward to its 2021 release. Mindy Cohn. Natalie Green, a character that was created after the producers met her while they were doing research for the show. Do I have to go over this again? These are my brainwave conductors. <laughs> when the headmaster called her back into his office to tell her the good news that she was being offered a role on TV, Mindy was just relieved that she wasn't in real trouble. The character Natalie Green would be the one to ultimately lose her virginity in that final season. It was Mindy's suggestion. Natalie was in a long-term relationship, so I thought it was responsible for her. Cone's most successful venture after the show was voicing Velma Dinkley in Scooby-Doo since 2002. She's even been nominated for a daytime Emmy for her Velma. She's appeared in multiple TV series, video games, and movies for the franchise. Today, she's in her mid-50s, and her most recent non-animated role was a starring one in the 2020 film A Nice Girl Like You. Mindy is very much still at it. Cloris Leachman. Beverly Ann Stickle was Mrs. Garrett's sister, and Cloris replaced Charlotte Ray for the final two seasons of the show. Leachman was handpicked by Ray to take over. You see, the two were classmates at Northwestern University, and even roomed together in New York City as up-and-coming actors. Cloris began appearing on TV series in the early 1950s, but her first major role was in the 1955 film noir, Kiss Me Deadly. Leachman won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her role as Ruth Pop Popper, the neglected wife, in the great 1971 film The Last Picture Show. And we could never forget her hilarious part in Mel Brooks's Young Frankenstein. Stay close to the candles. The staircase can be treacherous. Leachman's final role is in the 2021 film Not To Forget, as she sadly passed away in January 2021, at the age of 94. But she will live on forever in her enormous body of work. Nancy McKeon. Joe was the tomboy transfer from the Bronx who joined the show for season two and beyond, part of a huge cast shakeup to try and gain some popularity. It worked. Might as well stay. Joe was streetwise and added a perfect foil to Blair's character. Joe's name was inspired by the lead character in the famous book Little Women, after the writers refused to call her Foxy. But her persona was inspired by Little Darlings, giving her a tough, earthy vibe. Nancy McKeon moved to Hollywood at a young age and followed her older brother into the biz at the age of two because brother Philip McKeon landed a starring role on the sitcom Alice. For more on Philip and company, we have a great throwback to Mel's Diner you should check out too. But the work that caught NBC's attention was a Hallmark commercial where she cried on cue. After Facts of Life, she continued to act, making her feature film debut with Where the Day Takes You in 1992. She also played Inspector Jenny on the cop show Division, which was pretty popular in the early 2000s. Her latest acting credit was in the 2019 Lifetime movie, You Light Up My Christmas. This was the Fax reunion we were talking about, as McKeon joined Kim Fields, Lisa Welchel, and Mindy Cohn for this holiday treat. McKeon once dated actor Michael J. Fox for three years after they met on the set of High School USA in 1983. He's a nice guy. What was I supposed to do, hang up on him? Today, Nancy is in her mid-50s and has two daughters with her film technician hubby. They live a private life on a ranch near Austin, Texas. Molly Ringwald. Molly appeared in the first season, but was on the losing side of the season two cast shakeup. The media pays nauseating amounts of money to the stars they think will get the audience excited. It was her first ever acting gig. No worries for her though. She went on to become 80s royalty, starring in classics like 16 Candles, The Breakfast Club, and who could forget Pretty in Pink. She's still very much at it too, currently in the popular TV series Riverdale, which to my knowledge is loosely based on Archie. She's also Mrs. Flynn in the successful Netflix teen movie franchise, Kissing Booth, with a third one coming out soon. George Clooney. 
Do you remember George Burnett? Well, he appeared in 17 episodes over the final three seasons as the handyman neighbor who always popped in for no apparent reason whatsoever. It's okay, I'm qualified. My dad owns a hardware store. I mean Clooney. From the titular character in Ocean's Eleven to winning two Oscars, George is, quite frankly, the man. The Facts of Life held the record for longest running show for many years while on air, accumulating over 200 episodes. Several spin-offs were attempted, but none of them were successful. Did you watch any of the three made-for-TV spin-off movies? What about the Hallmark movie Light Up My Christmas in 2019, which served served as a mini reunion. The film even included a little tribute to Charlotte Ray, who passed away in 2018. So tell us, who was your favorite character from the facts of life? Did you have a favorite season or setting, as it did change throughout? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We want to hear from you. And if you enjoyed learning some facts about the facts of life, consider clicking that thumbs up button for us. And subscribe to the channel so you never miss a throwback video from all of us here at Do You Remember? Thanks for watching.